Hi guys, Bjorn here. In this video, we're going to look at a 10 minute EMOM with two exercises double under skipping, 40 of them, and then followed up by eight dumbbell clean and jerks, so 22 and a half kilo dumbbell, or skip it back to whatever weight you can do a clean and jerk with. My goal, my passion is to help people get fit, get strong, and to maximize their wellness. And in this channel, we look at a lot of exercise videos, tips, and tutorials. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Now, I'm doing these emails because I'm also testing a lot of things out for my members as well. So I wanted to see the way that it actually affects me. So I'm doing this and I'm testing them out with emails, and emails are every minute on the minute type workouts. And if it works well, then I will tell you about it. Since then, I'm going to be testing them anyway, so I might as well talk to you guys about it, record it, and also let you guys know how I actually feel whilst I'm doing it, and also whether or not I could use it. So that's it for me now, guys. Um, let's get onto the workout. I'll put the timer on back there. I've got my um, EDM royalty free because I've recorded a few uh, videos before. and we've been having problems trying to upload it because of the royalty and copyright infringements. Anyway, no more on that stuff. We've got some royalty-free EDM, which is really cool, running in the background, love that sort of stuff. So let's get onto it. So today's sounds that you're gonna do are double unders. So you're gonna do 40 reps of this. If you can't do double unders, you're gonna do singles. All right, let's see if I can do singles. All right. Try and get about 80 reps of your singles in and you want to do quick singles and quick skips and learn your pattern for your skipping before you get into your double unders. And I'm probably going to record another video for your double unders and teach you how to do your double unders as well. Um, pop it down in the comments, let us know what you think. That's your 40 double unders, your first exercise. And then after you've got eight dumbbell cleaning shirts with a dumbbell, looks like this. Swing through, pop those hips. Swing through, pop those hips. Cool. All right, let's get it going. So make sure you stay relaxed in your double unders. Try not to tense up the shoulders too much. Let it float from the wrist. Stay light in your jump. Got a little bit of time here before we get to the next one. Heart rate is pretty high up, which is quite cool. You are following along to this. Great. Smash that like button as well. Let us know how you go in this workout. So next we've got eight of those. I want to try and bias it off to my dodgy shoulder. I have to like to do that. All right, we're going. So we'll start off with my good arm. arm, six on the other. Give me plenty of time for rest. One round done. I reach pretty high. I'm also getting a little bit tired. This combination should be hitting the arms quite a fair bit as well. Should affect double letters a little bit. See if we can hold on for another 40 reps.
there. Heart racing up a little higher. It's getting a little bit harder to talk. a lot stronger the right arm left arm is just useless heart rate is getting a little bit higher getting a little bit more puffed out just gonna make sure you just keep on mobilizing that arm before you get on to the next one had to use my fingers as well in controlling that double under rope. Legs are feeling fine. This is a very upper body dominant kind of combination. Still looking at five on this hand. Three on this one. to breathe but nowhere near as first couple of rounds I think we're starting to get used to this conditioning piece here a lot of times I do these workouts alone by myself there's not a lot of folks around do the stuff together with me. I prefer to be doing it together as everybody in the group. But of course, it doesn't always happen. Trying to get used to it. Less dominance in the arms and the shoulders. Remember about the fingers. So folks have a very heavy rope, an RX rope. I like the thinner ones, the RPM rope. Alright, we're off. Alright,
a lot of times exercise is great for my mental health. I love doing it. So it clears my mind for a little bit. Last round. about 75 almost 80 percent it's not maxing out too much very manageable feet levels are okay in the legs the soles of the feet getting a little bit sore from the prolonged and unbroken double unders all right fun a lot Less than half a minute, which is good. Nice little uh, workout. Good for getting the heart rate up to about 75 80 percent, and gives you a little bit of a gets your heart going a little bit, should work you up a little bit of a sweat because you've got a little sweat here. I think um, possibly a little bit more legs in there would be nicer. Uh, this is a very arm dominant type of a workout. Lots of heart and cardio. But then of course, it makes it a little bit harder to actually do double unders once you're actually a little bit more fatigued with, the, with your uh, clean and jerks with the arms. Throws out your rhythm when you're actually doing your double unders as well when you're doing this workout. But if you're able to control it with your fingers, you should be all right your double unders but anyway I hope you enjoyed watching me squirm and hurt a little bit in the workout it was only 10 minutes anyway I mean we all secretly enjoy that anyway so if you like this video smash that like button comment below if you want to see any exercise combinations and of course I'll try to record that for you 10 minute imams I'm trying to record a hell of a lot more because there's plenty of time you can find 10 minutes every day to do a little bit of something that's all for now guys, thanks so much for watching, again, consider subscribing if you're new to this channel, I'll see you later.